Over the years, many have asked me, Carrie, what is it exactly that you do post-show? What is your routine, as it were? What do you do to wind down? So, let me tell you. The very, very first thing I do is sling myself down and race to my pyjamas. My pyjamas are my best friend when I come home from a show. Then I whack over my laptop, find Netflix, and put something quite light-hearted on, never anything too long. Maybe a TV show so that I can watch multiple episodes but won't feel too bad if I leave one half finished. Then I dig out whatever meal I have bought myself for dinner. Now on tour, it's sometimes kind of hard because you don't always have access to a kitchen wherever you're staying, so I can't cook my own food. So at the moment in Sheffield, I am sort of living meal by meal and buying the healthiest thing I can find when I Say healthy I'm expecting you all not to stare at the milky bar on the screen please thank you very much once the hole in my stomach has been filled it is then time to remove all of the makeup on my face and usually there's quite a lot of it because there's a lot of reapplying of makeup that goes on during a show once that's done I flick the kettle on and I run myself a bubble bath as most of you know I have a slight obsession with lush and when I say slight I mean extortionate and on this particular night I was using a milky bath bubble bar that I bought earlier on in the day. This is one of those bars that you crumble under hot water and you instantly have a bubble bath. Just add hot water, it's like cup of soup but less disappointing. I then usually spend a few minutes looking in the mirror seeing if I can rock my post-show hair but inevitably I just give up the wishful thinking and get in the bath. I then take my tea into the bathroom. I, I am one of those people who plays the risky game of drinking drinks in the bath, and I have ended up spilling my tea into the bath water on more than one occasion, but hey, it adds to the warmth of the bath and I smell like tea. There, there are worse things in life. currently using a hair mask from a company called Mix Nature. Now I'm not sponsored by them either but they did send me some nice free samples. But I will tell you that they are cruelty free and vegan and you can customise your own products. In my customised hair mask I put in myrtle essential oil, floral nectar, burdock extract, oats extract and grapefruit essential oil and it's really actually quite great. Once I'm out of the bath, I then do my curly hair routine, which I've already done a whole video on, so if you're interested in seeing how I do my curly hair, then I shall link to below. I brush my teeth before bed, but I don't think that should be a detailed part of this routine, because everyone does it, or everyone should do it, and if you don't, you stink. For skincare, I'm currently using a bunch of products from Figs and Rouge. Now, again, I'm not sponsored by them, but they did send me some products to try out, but like I have said many a time before, I will never put anything in these videos that I don't genuinely use myself or think is any good. The three products I've fallen in love with are from their Hydra Active range, and it's the AMPM Serum, the Hydra Active Cream, and the Smart Lips Active Hero Balm. By then, it's usually about half 11, quarter to 12, and that is when Pete and I have a daily catch up over FaceTime or Skype. I'll then spend a little bit of time either editing or writing or reading, but the night usually ends just cuddled up in bed watching something on Netflix. And that's that. Dear Tom and G, I just popped into the Sheffield Waterstones to go and see what it's like because I'm doing a signing there on Monday and my books are everywhere. 